Hi there, I'm Charlene Shirk, and welcome to Digital Champions, where we speak to some of the most innovative thinkers in the digital space. And joining us today in our Jacksonville studio is Jackie Peralt with the Jacksonville Women's Business Center. Jackie, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you, Charlene. I'm super excited to be here with you and um, looking forward to this conversation. All right, so let's get into it. Talk to us about what you do for women at the Jacksonville Women's Business Center. So JWBC is the North Florida area for the SBA liaison between the Office of Women Business Ownership and the connection between the women business owners in our community. So we provide them with education, free counseling, and uh, networking opportunities to connect. Now, I'm sure every woman and every business owner has something unique, but I would mm -hmm. think collectively they probably share some pain points. Talk to us a little bit about what you help them solve. Absolutely, yeah. So we do a couple different things. We offer an entrepreneurial certificate program, and one of those really cool programs is Marketing Matters. So we actually mm -hmm. are teaching women business owners how to navigate you know, all the different things in terms of marketing. It used to be very much branding yourself and having a logo, but now with technology, we've learned there's so much more to that. So connecting them and teaching SEO even. Let's talk about that. Let's break that down yeah. a little bit because we are on, you know, we're digital champions. Yes. So how do you help them walk through that sphere? Because one of the big questions we always get um, is how much to spend on ads, don't mm -hmm. spend on ads, how much effort to put in organic, about consistency, yes. is it video? So blogging, uh, podcast. So yeah. goodness, where do you start? Because these ladies are just trying to open a business or get that business going and they come to you for marketing matters. Yeah. Where do you even start with them? No, absolutely. And what's unique about us is we actually help women business owners who are in that idea stage or even just starting their business. And we help women business owners who have been in the business for 15, 20 years mm -hmm. who maybe need to look at that branding and mm -hmm. say, let's freshen some things up. Um, for example, we bring in a lot of different supporters, people who have even gone through our courses. And they come back and they facilitate the workshops on podcasting, like you mentioned, SEO, and how to navigate different keywords. Mm -hmm, and we mm -hmm. actually have hands-on workshops. So our workshops are different where it's not just a lecture and you're not just going to hear from somebody. There's actual canvases that our business owners actually take action while they're there and essentially providing them with a portfolio after the class of things that they can move on. And when you're walking them through the marketing matters, one thing about digital is that it is ever changing. So how do you as an organization stay on top of what's the latest and greatest? And then how do you counsel them to be able to, you know, I remember back in the day where I was like, do I really need a website? <laughs> that was the question at one yeah, point. And absolutely. some folks haven't really updated their website in like 10 years. So yeah. how do you get them to get to where they need to be today and into the future? That's a great question. And it's really kind of interesting because of what we just went through the last two years of the pandemic mm -hmm. and how the Women's Business Center was viewed. You know, we've been in Jacksonville community for 18 years. And we were even ones that we weren't really driving people to our website. It wasn't kind of a thought process. Halt, then the pandemic happened. <laughs> and how do you think people were finding us? Right. And we did not have a website that actually allowed people to, you know, what's that call to action? What do we want them to do from there? And there was kind of a, you know, disconnect. So we actually used a local women business owner, an agency. They revamped our website. And now we actually are tracking some of that SEO and analytics. You know, it's kind of that practice what you preach. If we're going to teach this to our business owners, <laughs> we've got to be a good example of that on the outside. Um, another thing that we've done and learned, you know, um, was that we needed to be present on social media channels. We were great and really strong at Facebook for many years. And that was truly a big driver for a lot of time for business. Back to the practice what you preach, we tell our business owners they have to be present on LinkedIn. And we now have a business LinkedIn page. We now have a Twitter channel. You know, we have an Instagram account. And there was a lot of, um, I would say, hesitation from, you know, even some people that have been with the organization for a long time. Like, why do you need Instagram? Is that really where your audience is? And I would say our audience is everywhere. Mm. And you talk and listen to different people in different ways. And that's when you have that voice. And if we can talk to a younger business group on Instagram and still have a different voice on Facebook, we're just creating a bigger community. And that's what we should be is a resource for them to feel connected to us. All right. So ladies, if you're out there and you've got any questions, give Jackie a call at the Jacksonville Women's Business Center. Yes. Jackie, thanks so much for taking the time to join us today on Digital Champions. Thank you so much, sir. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about what they're doing over there at the Jacksonville Women's Business Center, you can check them out by first going to dailyadbrief.com. All right. That's going to do it for us today on this episode of Digital Champions. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk, and we look forward to learning something new with you next time. Awesome. Simplify presents addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. 
TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.